Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how to make a contact sheet in using just Bridge. Okay. So I think the easiest thing to do is make your folder on your desktop like this. So I've got a folder here, um, I named it just contact sheet. In there I've got my 12 images. All right. So I would suggest you make the four folders for each of the four contact sheets that you're going to make. If you take your folder just from your desktop and drag it down to your dock and drop it into Bridge, that'll launch Bridge. All right, you can open Bridge first and then navigate to the folder also. All right, so this came right up and here's my path here in Bridge from computer, hard drive, so on to me, to my desktop, to the folder called Contact Sheet. So this is the workspace called Output. Um, Here's the essentials that we talked about, my workspace. So my workspace looks like this, the essentials looks like that, output looks like this. Okay. So in the output workspace, you'll see the um, images from your folder down below here. And we've got a canvas here. And what we need to do is go over here to template. And I have selected the 4x5 contact sheet. So you're going to select 4x5 contact sheet. You're going to make sure that document is open. So you might have, um, it might open just like this. So just click on the arrow there, open document. Here you're going to make the document letter size, which is going to be 8.5 by 11 inches. Uh, white background is good. Resolution should be 300. Image quality can be 8, that's fine. Right, and then here we're going to do across first and then by row. So as it places the images in, they're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. Um, we're going to have a rotate thumbnail for best fit on there. So make sure you check that. Include the file name. Include the file extension. Font is fine. You want to change that. That's fine. All right, next thing we need to do is make this setup for 12 images. Um, instead of 20. So we're going to hit grid. We're going to go to columns and we're going to change the columns to three and the rows to four. And then where it says cell spacing, horizontal and vertical, here we're going to have a value of 0.1 in each of those. So that's the space between the images. Okay, so it should look something like that. Cell width is going to be automatic, so that's fine. This should stay unchecked the way you see it here. Uh, margins are fine the way they are there. So scroll down, and this is in my way. Um, you're going to see export to PDF. Okay, So we need to add the images into the contact sheet there. So if you click on one image um, and then do Command A, that'll select them all. You can also go up to edit and select all. That will do it too. So if I get rid of those, edit, select all, that selects them all as well. All right, so you're going to click on one, hold down your, hold it down, drag these up, drop them into there. And I've got my contact sheet. One, two, three. I got all 12 images. They went in, so I've got my horizontals and verticals um, the way that they should be. Okay, and then we've got the name of the file right there. So now we're going to hit this, notice this export the PDF button is now lit up. So we can hit that. That is going to export the file. You're going to name this your name, contact sheet. And this is number one. And then you'll have number two, number three, and number four. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and save that. All right, so it's making the PDF now, and I just saved that to my desktop, and you'll find it there. Okay, so if I just, and then here we go, here's my PDF um, contact sheet. All right, so uh, I think that's, um, that should do it, and um, thanks.